YouTube family. It is very early in the morning. I am actually currently in my bathroom because we just laid some new flooring last night for my birthday. We've been working on it for a while. It's a small space, but we really wanted to do everything just exactly the way we wanted it. We have this beautiful LED mirror that is perfect for makeup application. We did everything from just a new toilet to really um, beautiful flooring. We have to put the baseboards up today. So I'll show you guys that when it's all done. Um, a new cabinet, just, just wanted to make the space as light and bright and beautiful as possible. So it is my 41st birthday. We are gonna go have some fun as a family today. I'm gonna do a little workout. I'm totally all about the cardio these days. So I'm gonna do a little cardio and probably some barless bar, have some coffee and get this day started. So I've been trying to find a minute to sit down and tell you the whole basis of this new um, series that I'm starting. And it's all about perimenopause. It's all about the second half of your life. You can combat all the symptoms just by leading a healthier lifestyle. This is something that I personally have been implementing and seeing so many changes for the positive. Um, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about that with you guys. So one of the things that I have um, kind of noticed is that I'm not sleeping well. I'm waking up multiple, multiple times a night. And so this is kind of something that's been happening um, on and off for the past like six to eight-ish months or so. And I'll wake up drenched in sweat. I won't be sleeping. I'll have a ton. I'm not kidding you guys, like a ton of anxiety really and truly for no reason. I'll start thinking about things. My mind will go crazy. Um, it snowballs. And then I just literally can't sleep because I'm hot. I have anxiety about things I can't control. And my mind is just racing all night long. So these are very common symptoms and it's just all part of the deal. It's all part of the package as we get a little bit older. I am 41. I turned 41 actually on the 12th of this month. I'm 41 years young. I'm actually super excited. I feel like age is a privilege. I would never want to go back to my 20s because I've just learned so much over the years and I just feel really good in my 40s. Um, my biggest problem, like I said, has been the anxiety that comes at night, the not sleeping. And I didn't even really know for a while what was happening. I was like, it came out of nowhere. I wasn't expecting it. It was something that I really wasn't truly prepared for because I felt like I was still so young. And I just thought that perimenopause and menopause was something that happened to you when you were in your fifties or your mid fifties. I don't know. I just didn't realize it could happen so young. And it wasn't until I actually spoke to my mom who um, then told me that she was somebody who had gone through it very early, her early 40s, and also my grandma had gone through it in her early 40s. So I guess it's something to do with your genetics. So I did go and see my doctor, had a conversation. I told them all about the symptoms I was having and they're like, yeah, pretty sure this is what's happening to you. And these were not the only symptoms that I was having for a while, for like I said, at least six to eight months. I was noticing little aches and pains. I was getting headaches. I was exhausted all the time. I wasn't sleeping. I was getting hot flashes. I was just like, what is going on with me? I literally thought like I was sick, like something was wrong with me. So when I did go see my doctor and I kind of told them what was going on, they were like, these are classic symptoms. So if you are someone who is going through this right now, just know that it won't last forever. It could last for a long time, but it won't last forever. And I found a little comfort in knowing um, kind of how to combat this by doing a lot of research. I found a lot of great um, information on YouTube. I found a lot of great information that I will link for you guys. I started to implement a very solid self-care plan really and truly just in the last three to four months. And I have seen such a change in my sleep patterns. I still will have nights where I toss and turn, where I have a ton of anxiety. I'm gonna get into that in another video. So do make sure you're subscribed because we're gonna have a little story time about that. But I will dive a little bit deeper into my anxiety. This is something that isn't necessarily new for me, but it is new to have so much of it. So we're going to dive a little bit deeper into that in another video, probably the next video, because I think it's an important topic to touch on. But once I kind of figured out how to manage it a little bit better with supplements, with exercise, um, one thing that I really started doing was adding a lot more cardio into my workout regimen. I think I'm going to put together some exercise videos for you guys that you can do that are going to help increase your stamina. They're low impact. They're going to be fun. And best of all, they're going to be suited for you if you're going through perimenopause or menopause. I feel like adding in that extra cardio work throughout the day tires me out in all the best ways. It's helping me sleep at night. It's getting rid of a lot of that weird anxious energy. I also really tried to add in good nutrition. I've shared a couple of recipes in previous vlogs, but I'm going to link a little smoothie recipe below for you guys that I think will help. It's important to try to 
fuel your body with good solid nutrition as you're going through this phase of your life because I truly do feel like it helps. I've really, like I said, implemented a lot of good self-care. I try to take a nice warm shower every single night. It just kind of sets up my bedtime routine. And then by having that routine, it kind of sets up that better sleep. And then I have a nice, just like warm cup of tea at night. And just like I said, like just setting that bedtime routine has been very, very helpful for me. So the main things that I can say is definitely try to set up a bedtime routine, try to get a little extra cardio in, really let yourself have some self-care time, and then try to get good nutrition. We're gonna go into all of this stuff in this little series. I'm gonna take you on my journey. We're gonna be besties on this journey together. Let's use the comment section to share and empower and help each other. I'm super excited, and I know it sounds weird to say excited, but I'm actually very excited to share this journey with you guys. So if you're not subscribed, please make sure you subscribe. I have so much coming in this series to you guys, everything from skincare tips, I love good skincare and I love natural products, a lot of good recipes I think that will help you guys out, some great workouts, some low impact cardio workouts, some bar workouts, lots of fun things that we can do together. So make sure you are subscribed and I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Part of my skincare routine a couple times a week is to just apply this organic raw honey um, and turmeric to my hands and to my face. So I leave this mixture on for about 30 minutes, have my coffee and my breakfast, and then work out. So I've really been increasing my cardio. I feel so much better. And we're going to talk about that a little bit later in the video about what I'm doing to kind of combat perimenopause. We're going to talk about it. Um, and I'm actually starting a whole new series on my channel with workouts and just some great um, recipes and things that you can do to help combat this as well. It's a very delicate time in a woman's life and we just got to stay healthy and happy and just find natural ways to combat this. So I'm going to share a lot of things coming into this new series, probably weekly but today I did some center barless bar. I did a little jog um, with my pups who they love just to get outside and have fun with me. So however you can move, just get up and move. It doesn't have to be extreme. It just needs to be consistent. So on a typical morning, on a day that's not my birthday, um, I usually have this um, cinnamon and spice, lower sugar oatmeal, and then I will add in some walnuts and mixed nuts just to get a little bit of protein and walnuts are so good for you. And then I have been drinking just like a quarter of a cup, um, like a shot almost of pomegranate juice. And then I try to be very mindful about the supplements that I take throughout the day. So apple cider vinegar is a love of mine. I have a lot of dedicated videos to apple cider vinegar, specifically to the Nature's Truth brand. It's so good. It's 1200 milligrams. It's usually buy one, get one free at my local CVS. I take them religiously and I have for many, many years. Because I have been experiencing some aches and pains, I added in some turmeric to my diet. This one is a 500 milligram, just turmeric with ginger, and it's great. It helps support joint health, promotes immune health, and it's all around just a great anti-inflammatory. And then I have also added in my fish oil. This one's just a Costco fish oil. It's 1,000 milligrams, provides 300 milligrams of omega-3 fatty acids. This is so good for your brain, for your body as you're going through this. And I would just highly suggest adding in some fatty acids into your diet and then I always take my vitamin C 600 milligrams plus zinc and this is great for your immune support and vitamin C is something that I think a lot of us just regularly do take since we have been in a pandemic but with all of these supplements right now I seem to be having a really good result with this and I'm going to share with you guys the tea that I drink every single night. So before I go to bed every single night, I've been having a, some kind of like relaxing tea or sleepy tea. This one is actually, my mother-in-law brought it from Peru for me. So I don't know if you can find this anywhere. I can try to link it. This is a great one. I take it and I'm like instantly in a deep sleep. So um, any kind of tea will work, but I just think it's part of a good nighttime routine. It kind of helps me get in that, I don't know, good like sleep mode. So this one is the Dulce Sueños. And like I said, this is from Peru, but I will try to link it for you guys. But honestly, any good sleepy tea will work.
good morning guys i kind of just have my phone propped up here i'm going to share with you the workout that i did today i'm actually eating some of my walnuts right now i have a busy day today but i wanted to say hi to you guys and i think at the very end of this vlog I'm going to insert a workout that you can do. So I'll timestamp it. So if you don't want to watch the entire rest of the vlog, you can go do the workout with me. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you guys like that style of video. And we can always do it like that. I can add a little um, workout at the end of the video, or I can do like a dedicated video. It's up to you guys. So just let me know and I can make it happen. So today's workout was just a little Zumba class. I had so much fun doing this. I will link this channel below. Okay, so I also needed some new, just like, jogging shoes, Zumba shoes. I always have a hard time because I am a dancer and so I do like to fill the floor. It's a weird thing. So a lot of times if the shoe is like too bulky, I just don't feel like I can move in them. But as I'm getting older, I do like a little bit of support. So I did find these Nike. These are Flex, uh, Flex Tier 9s it looks like. Um, and they are pretty good. They're breathable. We live on a pretty large property. So I do like to jog around the property. I like to do cardio work outside and I have been getting back into Zumba recently, which I am truly enjoying. So these were perfect for that. Picked them up at the Nike outlet and I also got a brand new pair of Nike leggings. I ordered a few things from Shein just for summertime, and I really like Shein just for the fact that they always have cute animal print designs. I feel like the quality is decent enough, and this is just a really cute uh, kimono that I got to go over a swimsuit. It's got just adorable big cats on it, and I love the sleeves on this one too, just like nice kind of flowy sleeves. So this was um, an item that I got yesterday, and I wanted to share with you guys. And then one more kimono that I ordered. This one doesn't have like the flowy sleeves. This is more of like a fitted sleeve. Um, really cute nice and flowy for summertime it actually did come with a swimsuit top and swimsuit bottoms that match this i think this was around 16 dollars for the whole set so totally worth it not a bad deal and i'll try to link these for you guys i also ordered um two skirts this one is so cute i love the way it fits it's a little elastic waist just um shan skirt and it's got a cute cheetah print pattern i guess it's kind of hard to tell because i have cheetah print on my um on my bed right now so i got this one i love it it fits beautifully i love it i love the little edges here just kind of like cute little edge here perfect for summer and it actually does have like a nice liner under here so it's not see-through at all and of course everything has to be animal prints at my house so i got this one too i absolutely love it it's got a nice um, once again cheetah print design i order from shein a lot because i do love that they always have exactly what i'm looking for it's got cute little slits on the side here and it's a zip back um, nice and flowy material perfect for summer All right, lovely bar stars, we are gonna start in a wide second position. Go ahead and tilt slightly under with that bottom, engage the lower abdominals up and in, arms are low. We're gonna plie on one, we plie up. And flat back reach. And roll in four, and three, and two. One more time, take it a little deeper, and stretch. You got it, four, and three, soften those knees on one, roll it right. Good, big stretch. On four, take it one and two. Big stretch. On four, again, reach. Two, good. Three, stretch. Last time for six and seven and contract it left and right. Good. Really round that spine. Breathe with me. Taking four more, three more, two more. Turn it out on one. We go down and up. How we doing? Hopefully you said good. I'm feeling good. Let's take it four and three. Good work. Two big breaths and one. Hold and pulse it straight down. Open those arms. Round those arms. Sink an inch. Good. Pop that right. Take it center. Open four, three, two. Switch again. Hold it in. Good work. And open. Four, three, two, heels down. Down, lift. Just plie and tight. Good, arms are just right here. Let's hold and pulse it. Down. Round those arms in center. Good work. Open those arms. Pop the right toe. Four, three, two, switch on one. Four, three, two, switch on one. Four. Three, breathe, two, switch on one, four, three, two, just hold it here, pulse it down, two, three, four, five, 
six. We're going to take a little tap. Here we go. Get that cardio up. Reach and stretch. You got it. Take it. Eight. And six. Four. Three. Two. Take a breath on one and just lift. How we doing? Smile, it helps. Little lifts. Add those arms, reach. Reach and press. Point those toes. Take it up and raise that roof. So fun, you guys. Really reach. Good work. Hold, just march it out. Just march. Good, let's crunch. Crunch. You got this. You're strong. Four, three, two, one. Reset. Back to the top. Woo! Just the warm up. If you want to, toes. You don't have to. Down. Reach. Good. Four. You use that breath. Two. And one. Pulse it. Down. Tiny pulse. Good. Hands right here. Sink an inch. Side to side. Squeeze. Good. Just breathe. Just breathe. Squeeze those glutes eight times. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Heel toe. Balance. Straight up. Whoop. Hold. Hold. Set your intention. Lower down. Grab that ball. All right, Bar Stars, grab your ball. You're going to place it upper inner thighs. You're going to step the feet together and squeeze that ball. Make sure the pinky and the big toe are firmly placed. We're just going to squat back to prayer. Prayer. Good. So think of this as an extended warm up. I want you to lift up into the heels and squeeze the glutes. Good. You can curl those toes if you want. Plenty of work that we are going to be doing today. So I want you to really maximize all this time we're spending together this morning. Think of the form. Think of your why. Why are you doing this? For me, it's energy and it's good mood that lasts the entire day. Good. Lots of reps. Beautiful. Again, we take it eight, squeeze it tight. Seven with intention. Make sure you breathe. Four more, let's go. Four, three, two, and one. Hold and pulse it. Down pulse. Arms are in prayer. Good. Smaller down. You got this. Tiny. Good. Hold on one. Squeeze that ball. Squeeze it in. Squeeze it in. Yeah. You got it. Again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, sink it in, squeeze it quick, quick. That's your timing. Yeah, you got it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, come up on one. Press it back. Press back to the top. Find your why. Find your focus. Squeeze, press. Good, eight more, let's go. Second round's always harder because we've worked hard. Just makes sense, right? We're starting to fatigue. Down, press. Good work at home. You're strong, you're capable. Hold it, let's pulse it. Down, pulse. Keep a nice squeeze on this ball. It's not just a placer. Eight more, come on, let's go. Eight. Good, breathe. Four, three, two, put the brakes on. Squeeze it in. That's your timing, that's your beat. Squeeze it in. Good, sink an inch, one more set. Eight, seven, six, how we doing? How we doing? All right, squeeze it quicker, come on, squeeze it in, in. That's your timing, squeeze, squeeze. Breathe. One more set, here we go. Eight, six, four, three, two, one. Come up nice and slow, arms up. Find the balance, find the control. Arms to the side, arms back to prayer. 
Lower down, take a breather, grab that ball. We're gonna go second position, wider than your shoulders, tilt under. Good, we're gonna squeeze that ball. Down, tight. Elbows are lifted, long from the crown of the head. Again, down, reach. Breathe in and out. Second is one of my favorites. It gets deep in those muscles, works a lot of things. Plus, it's pretty darn safe for those knees. Pulse it, down, squeeze that ball. Squeeze that ball. Good work. Lots of these guys. Down and pulse. Find that good rhythm. Pop the right toe, take it in press. Yes, you're feeling this. Four, three, switch it on one. You're gonna feel incredible when you're done. No doubt about it. Good, let's have some fun. Well, this is fun, but let's have more fun. Up, down. Good, keep the heels down for the first eight. Now, raise to your releve. Stir it up and down. Let's take four more. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it here, reach it side. Just to the left. So fun. Good. Now, right for four. Three more. Two more. Good, now round it center. Four and squeeze. Three and squeeze. Two and squeeze. Good. Back to the left for four. Working those obliques. Squeeze that ball. How are we doing, bar stars? Sink in and four. Three, control it. Two, we're coming center. Good. Round the spine. Tuck the glutes. Tuck the glutes. Tuck and squeeze. Hold it here. Prayer. Pulse it down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold that squeeze side to side. Yes, you're feeling this. Side to side. Let's go. Breathe it. Eight and six. You're strong. You're capable. Good. Now hold it here. Squeeze and scoop. Squeeze and scoop. Tuck those glutes. Yes. Give me four more. Give me three more. Two more. And one more. Hold that ball. Just squeeze that ball quick. Sink an inch. Legs are static. Squeeze, squeeze. One more set. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Heel toe together. Nice big breath. Shoot those arms up, shoulders down. Exhale, rise to the toes. For fun, switch. For fun, switch. And stretch it down. Hands to the ball. Head goes yes. Side to side, no. Rolling up through that spine. Grab your stretchy band. All right, we got our stretchy band. Mine's medium. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna place it directly at my wrists, okay? Not higher, not lower. My palms are facing in. I'm gonna take my feet about shoulder width apart, roll the shoulders down, take a soft knee position. We're gonna start to curl. As you come up, you're feeling that resistance. You just karate chop those hands. Good. Elbows are just glued at the side right now. Soft leg position. You're gonna start feeling that band very soon. Now I want you to take it up, press. So you're working it to about chest height. Thumbs are reaching in. Now you're gonna work it back down. Nice and controlled. Good work. Back to the top, reaching up. Karate chop those hands, take it in. Good, hold right here, press it out, hold and out hold. Now you wanna make sure that you're not doing this situation. The elbows stay right there because you're also working not just your biceps, but your shoulders. Good. Press, now a little quicker goes out, out, and out. Now if you want a little balance, go ahead and take it right here. Out, out, and out, out. If you don't like it, you just go soft leg position. Good, little quicker, out, out, 
and out, out, good, breathe, five, six, seven, and eight, you reach it out, draw it in, good work, draw it out, pull it in, good, you're feeling this, right, you should be, out, in, good, take it down, two, three, hold on four, work it back up, chest height, just creating levels, take it down, two, three, and four, work it back up. Now we're gonna add a combo, goes out, in, press up. Good, slow, controlled, press up. Take it out, in, press up. Take it out, in, press up. Now, just pulse it, out. Two, three, four, if you want that balance. Six, seven, and eight. Draw it in, reach it up. So, I'm gonna go here. I like that soft knee position. So you draw the elbows back, press. Good, you're creating an L shape with those arms, creating that resistance. Yes, nice burn, bicep shoulders. Good work. Keep breathing. Four more, take it four. Take it three. Take it two. Take it one, palms up, press it out. Press it out. Good, five, six, seven, and eight. Go ahead and grab that stretchy band. You're gonna take it up. Go ahead and grab that stretchy band. Now, a little tricky, okay? You're gonna take left palm facing up. Bend the elbow, right hand pressing down. Soft position with the knees, lift up right here. So you're making a nice little almost genie cross with the arms. You're gonna press it down for those triceps. Press it down, good. Now, very important that you keep the elbows lifted. Press it down, pull it soft. Press down, lift, good. Again, eight, seven, soften those knees, six, five, four, Three, press and release, two, and one. Now, just pulse it down, control. Shoulders away from the ears. One more set, then we switch. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Give it a little shoulder roll or a shake. And switch, so we have right and left. Shoulders down. Elbows up, here we go, down. So you keep it soft. Good work. Close the rib cage. How we doing? Down. And press. Gorgeous work. Eight more. Eight. And seven, how we doing at home? Good, you gotta say good, you gotta yell it. Even though I can't hear you. It's that energy, right? Gorgeous work. Two, okay, you're getting ready for those pulses. Lift that elbow, mine drooped a little. Breathe. Pulse, second round, even smaller. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and shake it out.